Throughout most of history, the different branches of science have remained separate. It wasn't until the 1900s that the concept of combining the sciences became popular, and biophysics, the application of the concepts in physics to biology, began to flourish. Biophysicists looked for patterns in biology that could be analyzed and measured using math and physics. They studied from the smallest unit of life, the cell, to whole environments. Physics can be used to explain many aspects of life. The physics concepts of light and waves were applied to biology to make sense of the process of photosynthesis. The pigments within plants have absorption spectrums that absorb certain wavelengths of light to create energy. A molecule of this pigment, when struck by certain wavelength photons, absorbs the energy and enters an excited state that becomes transferred to glucose energy. In order to capitalize on the amount of usable light, many plants have several types of pigments, like chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, that absorb different wavelengths. Because of this, all light, except for green, can be absorbed and made into energy by most plants. Many plants are green because they do not absorb green light, but instead reflect The it. discipline of biophysics was highly promoted in Italy, especially by Antonio Borsellino in Genoa, Adriano Gozzini in Pisa, and Mario Ageno in Rome, and in 1959, there were the first conferences in biophysics in Italy. At this time, it was considered a novelty and anomaly for biologists and physicists to work together. In America, there was the first meeting of the Biophysical Society in 1957, which connected biophysicists throughout the country. Antonio Borsellino, Adriano Gozzini, and Mario Ageno, and other pioneering biophysicists work to publicize the application of physics to biological processes to understand more about the world we live in through their research and publications. Their contributions catalyze scientists' involvement with the subject, subsequently resulting in biophysics organizations. Biophysics, a relatively new science, started gaining popularity with the publication of Erwin Schrödinger's book, What is Life? His book analyzed the physical aspects of the cell, and helped to begin a new way of looking at life. Influenced by Schrodinger's book, scientist Max Delbruck combined physics and biology when he made inferences about the susceptibility of genes to mutations. Delbruck in turn influenced Watson and Crick, who used biophysics to make the famous discovery of the double helix structure of DNA in 1953. Adolf Eugene Fick used biophysics to create Fick's Law of Diffusion which governs the diffusion of gas across a fluid membrane, as well as to be the first to measure cardiac membranes. Another well-known use of biophysics was Gertrude's famous onion experiment. He used biophysics to study mitogenetic radiation. Gertrude studied the effects of different types of light on cell division, or mitosis, of an onion plant and discovered that living cells emit light. Gershwish placed two onion roots perpendicular to one another, close together but not touching, and found that the point of near contact between the two roots had an increase in the rate of mitosis, which he termed the mitogenetic effect. This mitogenetic effect, however, disappeared when a window glass was placed between the roots and reappeared when a quartz window, which allows the passage of ultraviolet light, was placed in between the roots. By doing this experiment, Gershwish was able to prove that this mitogenic radiation came from the weak ultraviolet radiation of the onion root itself. However, many people criticized this idea, claiming it was impossible or irrelevant. It was not until the 1950s when Italian astronomers used an advanced photomultiplier originally used to see very distant stars on biological samples that it was proven beyond a doubt that biological systems emit a very weak light. The physics concepts of magnetism were also applied to biology, especially in medicine. In Russia, Alexander L. Chavesky studied the correlation between changes in Earth's magnetic field and the occurrence of events such as epidemics. And Simon Schnoll studied the effects of cosmic phenomena on physical events on Earth. However, the most effective use of magnetism in biology, known as magnetobiology, was in Italy by Professor Bruno Brandamarte.
Brandomarte showed that oscillating magnetic fields can have profound healing effects on wounds by increasing blood circulation. He proved this by using this method of magnetism therapy on a foot with inoperable diabetes gangrene. After the treatment with magnetic fields, the foot was almost completely healed. Currently, much of the research in biophysics is done on a cellular level. Biophysicists are modifying microorganisms in order to create biofuel, bioelectricity, and clean water. They are also utilizing microorganisms to create medicine, mass-producing drugs to fight malaria, and creating new ones to help fight diseases such as cancer. Quantum physics is being used to further study the mechanics of photosynthesis, especially that of chromospheres attached to proteins, which carry out the first steps in the photosynthetic process. Biophysics is a relatively new and rapidly developing branch of science that is gaining more and more recognition around the world. The combination of two seemingly very different sciences has already taught us much about the world we live in. Physics is used as a tool to explain how biological processes occur like they do. Without the application of physics, many biological phenomena could not be fully explained. Biophysics has already proven in its current stage of infancy that it has stunning potential to advance the field of medicine and holds much potential to one day save lives.